Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. This is going to be the second in the Finca El Origin series of wines. Um, like I said in the last one, they had sent me some wines for a Skype tasting. Wasn't able to really get all coordinated. Uh, I went through the, more of the story in the last episode, so if you didn't catch uh, the last episode with the Torontes, then check that out. You'll get the full story. Um, so suffice to say that uh, moving on, and uh, we're going to check this out. Uh, one real quick thing I forgot to do before I set everything up is get the pricing of this. Since they were sent to me, I don't know how much um, these normally go for, but I'm going to guess all the wines they sent me around 10 Well, actually, not all. <laughs> Three of them were probably around the $10 range. Okay, so this is the 2009, yes, 2009 Finca El Origen Reserva Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, this is from the Valle de Uco in Mendoza, Argentina. So not as far north as where, um, the Torontes was. I'll have a little map of where this region is. Let's do a little rinse. Can I start stealing other people's little phrases? Rinsey rinse, sniffy sniff. Thank God I never said tasty taste. I don't think I'm going to start saying give it a whirl, though. Anyway. All right, so let's uh, let's get right into it. Let's check it out. As I get, like, wine on my forehead. So, um, first thing that kind of hit me as I was putting wine on my forehead um, was kind of a pepper type of uh, aroma like like you know black pepper white pepper that type of stuff not peppers uh, so the spice where does pepper come from by the way I'm just wondering it's a spice I guess right I mean I've seen peppercorn so I've seen that because you know you put in the little things you know the crack pepper thing the pepper mill that's what it's called but white pepper, black pepper, I don't know how they, where, they just appear. You know, I guess they're seeds or something like that, and they get finely ground. You know, just like paprika and cumin. and uh, Oh, another little quick thing. Do you know coriander and cilantro? The same thing. I didn't know that until about a month or two ago. All right, so um, pepper, and then maybe a little bit of... Uh, I'm going to say some dark red fruits, um, kind of go generic at first, see if I can kind of narrow it down. It, it, it's, it, I'm going to go cherry probably. But mostly, you know, I get that pepper type of uh, thing off the nose. Maybe a hint of earthiness, minerality type of stuff. See how it tastes. No one's watching, by the way, but me. But I'd wave. All right. Um, let's go to the uh, fact sheet before I before I read it. Let me give me my. Um, I, I'm getting some wood out of this. Um, it tastes like it. I've 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 kind of bit into a little bit of wood. Uh, this little tree. Um, I get the pepper. Uh, moderate tannins. Nothing nothing heavy. So I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like you know my mouth is totally dried out. Um, as far as fruits, 
I get very little fruit, but earthiness a little bit more of that. What the hell? The light just went out. And these two are doing just fine. Well, that blows. I just bought some some camera battery lights, camera batteries for the lights. And that one just went out. So that means I gotta finish this up quick and then charge that up. Um, kind of mad about that because these things should have lasted longer than the, than the double A's I was using. Get a little bit of pepper too. Like peppers pepper. Almost jalapeno-like, which makes me think there might be some cop franc in there. But we're about to find out because I haven't gone too far down the fact sheet. I think it's well made. It's very nice and balanced. You don't have heavy tan. You know the tannins aren't too heavy. The acid isn't too heavy. Uh, I think all, all the flavors are working very well. I think the wood probably a little bit too much for my taste, but it's not bad. It's not like overpowering. Um, I think it's pretty darn good. Um, for I tell you, thirteen dollars is the average price. I mean, it was on the lower third, but um, $13 was the average price, so moderately priced. I think it's a well-priced one. So let's kind of talk about this. 100% Cabernet. I figured all these are probably 100% what they are. Um, six months in French oak. Nice, because I wasn't getting that, you know, that American oak, like vanilla creaminess type of stuff out of it. So um, I think it's pretty good quality wine. Um, I'd probably give this an 89 um, because, uh, I think it's pretty darn good. Yeah. You can find it, buy it. I'm just getting so distracted by that light. It's really making me upset. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, you find it, buy it for sure. It's going to do it for today's show. Click the link below for the website. Uh, you'll have all the information about it. Um, is there anything on here I really need to talk about? Black pepper to buy. The Sonic Notes. Really? Black fruit says it's blackberries, black cherries, blueberries, cassis, black pepper, tobacco, balsamic. That's just not seven minutes. Not so much balsamic, but it's it's tasting better now too. Buy it, eighty nine points. Check it out. Check out the website below. Friend me up above. Throw me a ducket or two. We'll see everyone again next time.